Let's talk about mod management in Victoria 3. We do that in the Playsets area of the launch screen. And the first thing we see is I've got 64 mods in this particular playset. Okay, they're all enabled. If I have mods that need to be added, they would suggest them here. I could always add more by clicking on this or going to the workshop, adding mods, and then seeing you have so many unadded mods, would you like to put them in here? All right, let's go ahead and launch the game. All right, we're starting a new game as Prussia. I've got a great mod here that called Victoria Flavor Mod that is where the other mod that I had for flavor is merged in with and got these extra little German principalities. It looks like it's going to be great fun. And hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? I have zero legitimacy? What? 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 Whoo, what? Whoo, 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 that, that's not good. It says the size of my government gives me a minus 420 penalty. And in there it says my allowed size is negative 20? That not right. I know we had an update, but I don't think the QA in Paradox is that bad. Something is wrong with one of my mods. Alright, we're going to have to quit and start over. Back in the launch screen, we go to the playset, and now what I need to do is a binary search. That means I take half of these mods and turn them off, and then launch the game. If I still have the same problem, then the 16 mods, or the, the, sorry, the 32 mods that I turned off are pretty much okay, and that the problem is likely to be in one of the other mods. And if it is, then I turn off 16 of those and see what happens. Again, if the problem goes away, then it was one of the ones I turned off. If the problem stays, it's one of the ones that I left on. I have actually done that binary search and found what was causing that error. After narrowing it down to four, I just started reading on each of those four mods in their workshop pages and looked for comments. And I found this one. For some reason, this mod causes a bug that applies a massive size of government penalty to the US. He hasn't tested. Well, I did test and I was able to confirm. I loaded his Prussia. I even checked it as another nation earlier as France and it had the same problem. So it says I disabled the mod and loaded my all my other mods, game is back to normal. And yes, that's true. I turned off half my mods, loaded it, problem was still there so I knew which half it was in, and then turned off half the mods, the problem went away, so I knew which 16 it was in, turned on eight, still no problem, turned on another four, this was in that group, had the problem, Turned off those four, turned on the other four, no problem. And then it came down to figuring out which of those four. I had no idea that innovation actually useful would be something that would impact government legitimacy. It doesn't say that in the title, it doesn't look like it would, but it did. So never assume that just because a mod doesn't impact a particular part of the game, that it didn't impact a particular part of a game. Do that binary test. Yes, I had to do multiple clicks and multiple loads and multiple reloads until I figured out which was the offending mod. But now that I know, I can launch this game. Hey, now look at me. I went from <laughs> zero to a hundred legitimacy. All right, all right, all right. That is awesome stuff. I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and play some more as Prussia and try to unify Germany. It looks like this particular mod gives me a lot more challenge. I'm going to have fun with that. Oh, and by the way, when you're checking on those loaded games, if you see a symbol like that, it means it's not compatible. Either you added mods that don't work with this one, or you took away mods that don't work with this one. Either way, you can't load that save game with what you have in there. This can also result from a major update in the game that makes it where you're no longer able to use the same saves as you had before you got the update. Which mods you use or do not use is something you control. The updates just push relentlessly out unless you've got your Steam set up to where it's not connected all the time or it doesn't automatically download updates and things like that. Well, for me, I'm going to enjoy that Victorian flavor mod. Ooh, it even gave me Congress Poland. All right, all right, all right. I have some fun playing here.